Hey guys, Shaper 1000 here. Today we got another flea market finds episode for you. Hang around, I'll show you what we bought. Okay guys, one of the first things I bought at the flea market, I had to get out today man, just for a little bit. And uh, so I went to the flea market <coughs> and I got, got this mouse pad it's got the little rest on it and then of course this for your for your keyboard so I try them out I think I gave three or four bucks for them so I, I don't know I mean I thought I'd give it a shot <coughs> and also got this it is a card reader and I got it because it's 3.0 now on my computer you know like like this is the bottom of the computer right here my card reader is up underneath it's an all-in-one computer so, you know, you're always looking for that damn slot to put that in. So, I got me one of these, man. It'll hold, <coughs> excuse me, it'll um, read up to four different kinds of cards. You know, your mini, your SD, that's that little tiny one, and whatever that big gigantic one is there so anyway I, I thought I'd get this that way you know maybe I'll velcro it on the side of the computer or something you know to where I can actually access my card reader a lot better <coughs> so gave a dollar for that Now we're going to try one of these because you know our truck uh, in order to, to play anything you know off of our phones we have one of those uh, adapters you plug into your phone and then you slide it into the cassette player well this is one of those Bluetooth FM transmitters okay and uh, It's also a car charger. It also has um, uh, dual USB ports. <coughs> so you can charge your phone while you're using your phone to, to listen to uh, you know whatever music you've got on your playlist. It's also hands-free talking and includes auxiliary out option and cable. So it's get you know it's got a built-in microphone so like uh, if her patient calls her or her office calls her hands-free she can you know she can use this so that's that's a good idea it's a good technology for you know older vehicles I mean I'm not going to put you know two hundred dollars in a stereo in that old truck you know there's what it looks like right there very nice um, I mean, you know, it looks nice. They're they're all cheap, but it is a monster. That's the name of that. One. So there's the. Oh. Okay, so we got this. Been wanting to get monkey one. I was going to get her one at Walmart. They got a nice one there, made by Black Web. Same thing that the camera, the uh, dash cam, is. But. And I was going to do a review on it, and I'll do a review on, on all this stuff as well in other videos. Um, three bucks. There's that. We have got, this is her chopper. So this is going to be a video she's going to be doing. She's got this on, this chopper. Cool, cool chopper, whatever it says. So, we got this. We got this. 
this is mine. I'm going to do a review on these, but I'm going to do them a side-by-side -side review, see which one's better. Uh, they were seven bucks a piece. Seven dollars a piece. But this one, this one here, he let me have for five. So, there is our flea market finds, except for one more thing. Now, you guys know me, right? Okay. All right. Um, I'm into cameras. I collect cameras. Uh, mostly video cameras. I have a couple of images, but I mostly collect video cameras. This is cool. I found this at that flea market. It's a Minolta Super 8. I think this is a 1968 or 69 model because I believe in 70 they still made these they made these uh, 68 to 70 and then after 70 uh, this is um this is the the auto pack 8 which is a D4 then they went to a D6 and D10 so this I'm guessing between 60 1968 and 1970 it's cool because it actually takes film. Now, I, I'm confident that this thing will work, but the film's real expensive. Then you got to have it developed. Then you have to have a projector to play it, and there's no sound on these. There's no mic, but I still thought it was cool. I had to have it, you know, for a conversation piece or, you know, just something to, something to look at because I love old cameras, and there's the best part about it. I gave five bucks for it. This thing is in very good condition. You know, it's all here. Um, except for the eyepiece. But that's that's okay. You know, that little rubber piece on there. Because I'm not going to use it. I mean, maybe maybe sometime I, I will just get, get you know, film. and But I'd have to find a projector that will play this. This is where your battery goes. So it, it's kind of cool. This is one of the ones where you had to hold a button constantly. Okay, so, and there's your, this is for your lens, you zoom in and zoom out, well you got telescopic and wide, they called it, and, but what's kind of curious is I really want to get a, get a projector now because, okay, it goes by feet, how many feet you got, a film, it's on zero, okay, but, there's film in here. So I'm kind of curious as to uh, what's on that film. So that's pretty cool, you know. I mean, just pop it out and, you know, once you have it developed, it comes in on a reel and you have to use old projector reel to reel. So that could be a future video as well. So that's what we got, guys. Just a couple of little things. <coughs> Excuse me. But I had to get out of the house for a little bit. You know, being cooped up in here all the time. So anyway, but I'm going to do the uh, the choppers tonight. I'll do a side by side. She's monkeys at the store right now, getting stuff for them. Uh, she's going to do one on hers, and then I'm going to do one on mine and hers side by side. See which one's better. See which one I like better and stuff. So I'll do a product review on that. I probably won't do one on this, self-explanatory. It just, you know, it is what it is. Same way with the, uh, you know, the mouse pad. I'm not going to do a review on that, but I will do a review on this, and I'll do a review on the camera and the um, the choppers. Okay. So guys, listen, I'm going to get off here, get ready for her to come back, and get this uploaded for you guys. Remember, Shea Bear. Oh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.